Hello everyone, thank you for joining Remote Sensing and JS question and answer session series. In today's question, we'll see how we can able to calculate the volume of mountain or volume of any hills using ArcGIS. So I have this contour line, okay? I have already downloaded this contour line from the open dev. So how to download this? For that, you can visit our channel where I have already explained to download the ready to use contours. So after downloading this ready to use contour, what you can able to do, you can prepare an tin map. Okay, how to create a tin that we'll see. But first, let me tell you that this is the ready to use contour I have downloaded from the open dem. I'm interested to extract this only for Kursuvai. Okay, this is the Kursuvai location where I have extracted the contour. And from this contour, we need to project this first. Okay, so you can able to see this. This is in WGS 1984. First, we need to project this. So just need to go to Arc Toolbox. In the Arc Toolbox, there is an option. There is a projection data management tool. In the data management tool, there is a projection transformation and project. So just select this and add this here. Then where you want to save this file, just provide your desired location. So I'm working here. I will provide the contour. contour lines after that just click on the save option and this is the most important step where we need to provide the utm zone so this is falling in 43 utm zone so if you know which what utm zone it is falling so for that you need to check this longitude so longitude is 73 so means 73 is falling in 43 utm zone so accordingly that you can check what low what are the area will choose you need to find the, your utm zone so just need to provide a utm zone here that is 43 utm zone just need to click on okay so my file is projected i will just refresh the folder and this is the contour line i will add a contour line here okay now you can able to see the properties so it is in utm zone 43 okay so now what we'll do, we'll create a team. So this is a 3D analysis tool. In the 3D analysis tool, there is a data management and team. So create a team option is there. Just double click and select this contour line. Okay. So this is the input feature class. We need to add this. And here elevation is by default, it will select. And output location means where I want to save this file. So we'll save here. Team. Then this is the most important step. Provide a 43 UTM zone, click on OK and just click on OK. So this way we can able to create a tin. If you want to read more about the tin, you just need to click the tin and click on the help tool. We'll get the more information about the tin. Okay. Triangular irregular network and all the uses given here. So after this creating a tin, we'll convert this tin to raster. Okay. So in the 3D analysis tool, there is an option that is a conversion. In the conversion, there is a from tin to raster. So let's select this tin and provide your output locations. So I will give tin to raster. And I'll provide a dot tiff. And just click on OK. So my raster is created here. So let I will color this. Okay. So now what I have to do, I have to select one baseline. Okay. Above that baseline, I want to find out the elevation or above that line, I have to find out the volume. Okay. So just need to go to attribute table. Okay. Here you will see the, all the elevation is given here. This contour lines is there. I will just select the one line. Okay. So suppose this line is there. Okay. About this elevation, about this contour elevation, I want to find out the volume. What is the volume? Okay. So you can select any desired place. 
above that you want to find out. So the if you'll see this the one two uh, five zero meter elevation is there. Okay. So for that, in the three D analysis tool, there is a function surface, and click on the surface volume. So just select our this tin to raster. Then where I want to save this, I will go to the same folder. I will provide a volume. And here is the option given you want above or below. Okay. So I'm interested to calculate this above. What is the elevation? 1250 above that. 1250. I'm interested to see the volume above this. Okay. So just add this plane height and just click on OK. So you will get your volume here. So just need to right click and open. So you will see this the volume in cubic meter we are getting here. So we are also getting the area and this area in 2D and area in 3D. So all the information is given there. So like this, you can able to get very easily volume. So if you'll go to Google, you can add this file to Google and uh, where we have already added. So we have calculated the volume about this line. So this is a very easily you can able to calculate the volume for the, your desired area using this technique. If you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment sections. Thank you.